Hey there, welcome to Light Chatting with a Friend Reviews. Today, we're chatting about The Piano Lesson, now streaming on Netflix. This is a stacked cast led by Daniel Deadweiler and John David Washington. I enjoyed this movie so, so much. Everything was spot on, from the accents, colloquialisms, to the set design, and even the casting. The only thing in casting that I would change is maybe switching Corey Hawkins, who played Avery, to maybe Josiah Cross. That's not a knock against Corey Hawkins. He did a great job. And I cannot believe that the man that plays Lyman in The Piano Lesson is the same guy in The Justice League and Rebel Moon. All of these actors showed such great range. But what is this movie about? This movie is incredibly layered. It has so many themes that I just can't get into all of them. But the main focus is the divide between the siblings, Bernice, played by Daniel Deadweiler, and her brother, Boy Willie, played by John David Washington, as to whether resources that were passed down from their ancestors should be sold in hopes that the money could help them build a new life and a new legacy, or if those resources should be held dear and honored. This movie has my heart so, so full. I just want to cry. Not really tears of joy, and definitely not tears of sorrow but more like tears of acknowledgement. The Piano Lesson isn't a trauma movie like some of the other slave movies or reconstruction era movies that I've seen, but this is a love letter to the black American ancestors that made this country. I appreciate August Wilson for his artistry and that Pulitzer Prize was definitely well deserved. I also appreciate the Washington family for reviving his work for a new generation. There were a lot of things that stood out to me in this movie, but I just want to touch on two right now. Doka says to Whining Boy after Whining Boy's piano player monologue what are you gonna do when your trouble gets like mine but they never really say what doka's trouble was so now i'm like super curious what is doka's backstory and second avery couldn't get rid of sutter's spirit with christianity but beatrice was able to get rid of sutter by calling on her ancestors and they took out sutter's spirit the same way sutter took out beatrice's father i think that was making a statement anyway let us know what you thought of the piano lesson in the comments and until next time let's chat friends